Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. I've told you before about how regular exercise at least a few times each week can boost natural production of essential metabolic hormones like testosterone and growth hormone for as long as 20 hours after the activity, even for substantially older individuals. So today I wanted to explain for you how exercise similarly increases circulating immune cells. The key to maintaining this uptick in immune cells is to exercise regularly. So if you exercise just once a week, you'll see far less increased immune activity than someone who exercises every day. Single bouts of exercise, like going for a brisk walk or jogging for a mile or so, effectively increase the number of circulating white blood cells while a prolonged exercise, like running a marathon, can actually have a negative effect on the immune system, as the effectiveness of natural killer cells, T cells, and neutrophils are all greatly impaired. The metabolic demand for increased blood flow imposed by regular exercise also stimulates natural killer cell activity, but here again you can certainly do too much as a high intensity exercise lasting a few hours can cause a significant reduction in natural killer cell activity. And this is primarily because the natural killer cells will concentrate in areas of the body with excessive inflammation. So again, using a marathon as an example of prolonged activity, imagine how inflamed the muscle tissue is even for someone who runs marathons regularly. Metabolic disorders associated with a chronically sedentary lifestyle and a high glycemic diet like type 2 diabetes significantly increase low-grade inflammation, suppress levels of adiponectin, which, as I've told you, is a hormone emitted by fat tissue that moves fat away from the belly, among several other protective benefits, and also release pro-inflammatory compounds like, like tumor necrosis factor alpha. This diabetes-driven inflammation can obviously significantly increase the damage and reduce the normal participating factors of a healthy immune response. Insulin resistance, which is a common feature of type 2 diabetes and also metabolic syndrome, can also inhibit the function of T cells, which reduces the overall immune response to invading pathogens. The rampant inflammation of type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome can, in the presence of a viral infection, easily lead to the systemic destruction of a cytokine storm. So how exactly does moderate regular exercise improve the immune response? Exercise increases the antipathogenic activity of macrophages, immunoglobulins, and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Cardio exercises like walking, jogging, or even time on an elliptical machine vastly improve the movement of immune cells around the body and increase the protection of critical areas like the upper respiratory tract, lungs, and intestines. But again, excessive exercise can be very problematic for the immune system, as the cytokines released in response to muscle damage can actually impair the immune response. So don't overdo it. This is especially important for older people who are even more susceptible to the dangers of a sedentary lifestyle. Muscle contraction, like what you would experience during a session of weight training, increases levels of anti-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-6 and interleukin-10, and these are especially helpful for those with obesity and or type 2 diabetes, as interleukin-10 in particular also supports insulin sensitivity and improved glucose metabolism. So this should give you even more reason and incentive to stay active every day. The worst thing any of us can do as we grow older is to submit to the sedentary lifestyle that is unfortunately accepted as an unavoidable consequence of aging. If you're new to exercise or haven't exercised in a long time, then it's best to begin by committing to a daily walk and, if possible, try to do this for at least 45 minutes each day. Specific supplements can help maintain the immune system, but not nearly as much or as directly as regular exercise, so please stay active. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.